So we finally got a new Transformers comic. What's up YouTube? I'm Alpha Prime. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I'm just going to review the brand new Transformers comic that has been released. Maybe a little late to the party. I haven't got around to it. But uh, I finally got reading this here comic book and I'm going to give you my thoughts and feelings on this book. If you haven't read this book, if you intend to read this book, then definitely I don't recommend watching this video until after you've read it because there's a lot of spoilers that I'm going to give away within this comic book. There's nothing major, nothing massive or anything like that there, but just be aware before you watch the rest of this video. Oh, so you're still here. So what do I think of the new comic book? It's definitely a fresh take. They've actually incorporated quite a few nods back to the original TV show. Um, such things as the arc obviously crashes. We get a little glimpse of that on the first page where it's coming to Earth. In fact, there's actually someone within this who has actually seen something crash land, which I believe is Jetfire he has seen crash land. I think the arc has crash landed years and years before. It's not the volcano erupting that reawakens uh, Teltran 1 in this comic book. It is actually Jetfire himself who uses up the last of his real energy to create the earthquake to allow him to find uh, Teltran 1 and he activates it. So that's where they've changed it up a little bit. He then goes, if the wee nod to the nostalgia is the fact that uh, he then tries to revive his friend Starscream who, if you remember in the TV show, those two were good friends before the war. Jetfire has again left the planet Cybertron before the whole war has broke out, so he's not aware of the factions. So he revives his friend Starscream, who then Starscream decides he's going to start taking out the Autobots before they even get revived. Jetfire tries to intervene. Uh, he is then met with Starscream looking to fight back. And then... By chance, Optimus Prime gets revived, takes on Starscream. A couple of more then of the Decepticons get revived, namely Soundwave and Skywarp get revived. Uh, Ratchet is also revived and Optimus sees that he's outnumbered. His team is still on the ground. He talks about his alt mode. Now this bit I'm not overly keen on, you know, about his alt mode being something. It should have a trailer. Uh, the writing there just isn't the best for me. In fact, I'll even read you the bit there. My new form, there should be some sort of trailer. How does he know? He's literally just woke up on the planet. How does he, how does he make that connection straight away? Um, I just think it was poor writing on that part. But it does tie in then because then he then tells Ratchet to get the rest of the Autobots on the trailer. He tries to buy a time and they make their escape. And in this one, instead of the Autobots sort of holding the Ark, it looks like the Decepticons are going to have the Ark. Because uh, the Autobots escape to a local mine, an abandoned mine uh, or quarry. And it looks like they're going to set up base there. And the Decepticons are going to set up in the Ark because Starscream, or some way have informed Starscream about they need resources to repair uh, Teltran 1. To be able to get some more some more of the Decepticons back online. And Starscream has to go out by himself to then get the parts. Uh, in general, I think it's a good start. There's just a few wee nitpicky things like the whole trailer thing and stuff. But that's that's neither here nor there. I think the artwork is fantastic. It's very G1-esque. Um, maybe slight stylization for them. But you get the gist of it. A little up to his prime vehicle mode is very G1-esque. Can't say the same for Ratchet. Spike, Carly and Sparkplug are all in it as the humans because we're starting on Earth. We're not starting way back on Cybertron. This is literally starting pretty much where the G1 episodes sort of started, uh, the more than meets the eye. Uh, waking up in a new planet after crash landing. Megatron is nowhere to be seen. He hasn't even been meant, well, he's been mentioned once by a sound wave, somebody mentioned him, Starscream tells him to sh pretty much shut up. Uh, that he's now the new leader of the Decepticons. No surprise there, another nod to G1. I think it's definitely a good start. I'll have to read a few more of these just to get a real taste of where they're going to go with this. 
Are they going to save Megatron as the big bad? Was Megatron not even on the Ark? You know, is or is he still on the Ark and Starscream's going to leave him in a heap? Maybe Soundwave will revive him in the background. Who knows? My personal feeling on this is it's it's good. But I am going to hold judgment on the actual writing and stuff to read maybe at least an hour two or three of them. Uh, I think it's interesting that what way they're going with it um they're going g1 but not following the story exact to g1 which is good fresh new tech um the fact that they've left megatron out of it and stuff is actually intriguing to me you know to give starscream that little bit at the start make megatron be the big bad uh the, the first big bad to come which i think is actually a pretty smart move uh optimus uh, the whole trailer sort of that still just it irks me. It's probably nothing like it's something small, but I just think when you're writing a comic book, I think you know should really, really not be doing that sort of stuff there. I think it's just a, a bad move, but it doesn't destroy the whole comic book. Let's face it, and there's a lot of good in this comic book, and I will definitely recommend picking it up. Especially if you're a G1 fan, definitely pick it up. Uh, unless you're an absolute purist and don't want anything changed. But they are doing nods to G1 and they're going to be, they're following the G1 sort of style of it. So for me, it's giving me that G1 feels. The, the artwork is very G1 and the story seems to be sort of going in that style of arc. If you're new to Transformers, this is definitely a good one to start on. I think... Uh, it's a obviously it's the first issue of a new line it's a complete reboot they're not following off of anything else not that i believe of anyway um so this is definitely a really good jump on point for anybody that wants to get started in the transformers comics and that's it for today's episode guys i hope you enjoyed this if you want me to review the next set of comics definitely let me know in the comments section below if you want me to do issues two three four just to give you a feel before maybe you go yourself and start purchasing purchasing these comics uh, I would 100% be happy to do that. And until next time, stay awesome.